dying mohoho What's up, what's up YouTube? We gonna get straight to it. Y'all see the title. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and review my 2012 SRT Chrysler 300. If you know me or you've been watching the channel, or if you haven't watched the channel, let me just say, this is my dream car here. So I'm gonna try to be unbiased as possible can't make no promises though so um let's get straight into it and i ain't gonna try to make this video too long i pretty much know the car inside and out so ain't gonna really catch me fumbling over none but um last year this car was 2014 13 and 14 got a few options that mines don't have um i think particularly with the uh the suspension, launch control, um, I think that might be it. Uh, there may be some seat colors, I think. Uh, so let's get right into it. These are some aftermarket tires. Um, since uh, since um, I got the car, they've been pretty good. They're 275. Uh, stock, these come 245, I think. Um, these are the factory 20 inch SRT wheels um, for the 300. Come with Brembo's. We go to the rear. Some people run a stagger setup, but I probably won't do that. Um, these 275 back here, too, again with the Brembo's. Um, might want to change those out, man. Because I definitely think I am too. Uh, Z26 power stops. Too much brake dust. So if you're looking to get one of these, put that on your list for things to get. Z26 power stop brakes. Um, if you like this car, you on the market for this car, you like me. You like an aggressive car, but kind of subdued, subtle at the same time. Subdue, I think I used that right. Yeah. But um yeah, I like the cruise, but when I wanna get up, I wanna get up. So um this was perfect for me. Um like I said, since I wanted this car, since I seen this car, I wanted this car. And I finally got it out there man, four or five years. I actually love it way way more than my scat pack I had. I actually got on my scat pack shirt. thing uh, so I know about that shirt my ex-girlfriend had bought it for me two years ago when I had got my scat pack and I couldn't fit that motherfucker but I can't now fat boy about to be skinny but yeah uh, it, I got a lot of uh, well not a lot but a few different things I did these come standard chrome I got them wrapped on the visors Ten all around. That's our T right there. I, I was supposed to have some uh, custom decals that I was supposed to show y'all on here on the back, but they not there yet. They not, they didn't come yet. So I say that for another video. But the the little black that I added the visors and then wrapping the uh, the window trim make it look more aggressive than it already was. And if you're not a car person. You probably just ask what kind of SR, what kind of 300 this is. So it's still kind of a sleeper. I think this is a little smaller than uh, the 300 S. That's because they make them a little different. Uh, got the two person, uh, two person um, memory seats. Hit the button, hit the S, adjust your seat, hit which one you want to set it to. And then you go to like a car wash or something and they mess it up. You just come back, hit your button. You good. Love these seats. I'm a big dude, so they like fit me perfect. Perfect. 
if you're a little bit small and somebody broke it in, you might you might find them a little bit too loose for your liking, but I love them. Like I said, I'm gonna try to be unbiased as possible, man. And this this uh, sound system, amazing, man. On my 300S, I had the uh, the Beats, and I and I really like that. But this Harman Kardon is tons better. Trust me. Both both uh, grid doors got the speakers in there. Can't okay, see that one. Turn. I think that's for the surround sound. But I love that. Love the sound system, man. SRT. These came with the SRT8s, but previous owner had already switched it, saved me some money, because I was gonna switch it anyway. Back here, pretty nice space. Pretty nice space. Um, I just keep this back here. Some oil and the freeze, some funnels, lever clean, the tire shine, stuff like that. Big boy chair back here. Cool, look like an old head. I just need to go get some ice real quick. Um, so, you know, sitting in this sitting in this passenger seat, you can feel the difference. It's definitely a little tighter than uh, the 300S's are. Especially with 2012, 13, around that time. Hey. Okay. Now we in that cockpit. You see that flat bottom SRT. The one thing I love about this car is this. It just is for me. Little stuff like that make a difference. Even when I had my scat pack, it was a regular steering wheel. The SRTs come with the flat bottom. I love the flat bottom. Let me show y'all this footwork. It, it comes stock with these two. Um, it's, a, it's a spot that I go to. I think it's Speed Logics that sell this to match it. I got that on my 300S. I love how it looks. So. Um, that's how it looks on the inside. Sitting in it. See, this goes back. But I love it, man. I love it. All right, let's go ahead. Start her up. She's stock, too. She's stock, so. gauges the new ones look better i can't lie but for this year that's nice <clears throat> especially for the 300 it's just supposed to be more of the luxury well 300 are the luxury segment of uh fca but um i guess it would be entry luxury <clears throat> but with these srts is is more of a sports today to me because you you got power you got luxury um, but yeah, I like these gauges, 180. You got the timers and everything up here. Go down here, SRT. You got that, zero to 60. Brake distance, that's when uh, you have to already be driving. Quarter mile, eighth mile. G-Force Peak, G-Force Distance. I think that's it. Uh, all your vehicle info, top, top monitors. Coolant oil, 
trans temp. I don't understand this one, engine hours. I don't really get that, but all right, that's it there. Then mine do have the adaptive screws control. I think it's fully loaded for this year. Um, basically, with the adaptive cruise control, you can set it. Um, so you might be on the highway going 60. You can set it for one, two, or three car lengths. So you're going 60, a car come within two car lengths. You got to set at two car lengths. It'll slow the car down for you itself. I love that feature. Um, typical Chrysler fashion right here. You got the change the station on the back of the steering wheel. I don't know if you can see it. I mean, uh, of course you can't see it because I ain't pointing to it, but um, it's right here on the back. Left side is the station. Right side is the volume. It's right on the back of the steering wheel. Got the paddle shifters. Sunglass holder. Uh, let's go through this real quick. Love this, you can do pretty much. the same g-force you can watch your gauges it's all of them go down here you can customize that screen change the colors So I ain't gonna go through all that. Turn the blind spot monitor off. Tilt mirrors and reverse rain sensing all the wipers, hill start assist. Then you got the lights. Auto dim, daytime running lights, stern, directed, flash with lock, doors and locks. Passive entry, sound with the lock, flash headlights with lock, open all driver, open all doors, on unlock. All this is just personal settings. All those stop settings. And turn the uh, heated steering wheel on and the a seat. I think at, uh, I think it's either 85 degrees and it turn the vent seats on. And it might be 35 it'll turn the heat and steering wheel on. But this is just personal uh, controls. You got uh, heated seats, two modes, vented seats, which is basically cool, two modes, uh, heated steering wheel, sport. Let me show y'all what it do in sport. <laughs> I click sport and Track mode activated suspension and transmission. Let's see what the newer ones, I think the settings gets a little bit more in depth. Um, where you could actually switch how you want the ride to feel. Could be wrong, but um, because it was my scat pack didn't have that either, but I think on the SRTs, you could just change it like that. How you want the suspension to ride, the stern. Only thing I could do with my scat pack was change the uh, the steering wheel feel. It would even be easier when you put it in sport, it's a little bit more effort. But I couldn't change like the suspension and, the, and uh, stuff like that. The suspension, it, it just was what it was. Yeah, I should, yeah. I definitely don't think I could change the suspension. Um, but the SRTs you could. Sport right there. And then you just got radio, regular radio with Sirius. You got this USB SD, aux, Bluetooth, climate, nav, 
I don't like how this navigation look. My 2013 was a little bit better, but yeah. Then you come down here. Carbon fiber. I actually gotta put it in the shop. One of the big uh dislikes about this was uh for me and a lot of other SRT owners is that carbon fiber come up once it start getting heated. So I'm actually, I was supposed to get this replaced, but I don't think I am because the technician took it off and put it back on. It was, it was sticking out like about here. But I got to get this one and one in the back. But um, CD, SD, got some storage. I got these too. I'll be passing these out. Y'all like these? Uh, I usually use this for my phone, for napkins or something that I'm just using. You got the uh, shift the boot, so you put it here, go up, go down, get up, get down, hold it to the right, reset it back to uh, to automatic, fully automatic. One of my best features, you got the cool and heated cup holder here. Cool, I can't see it, but it turned blue and it really gets cold too. Yeah, heat, and the heat is hot right now, but the heat also gets hot. I turned it on the other day, and this one gets red. Probably hard to see right now. And you just got the Nice deep storage compartment, AUX, USB, uh, 12 volt, and it's a 12 volt in here too. Panel roof. Um, I think it's eight way power for both uh, passenger and driver. The back seat's pretty good, pretty nice space. Test drive, I mean, just a drive for the video purpose. Get some pools. <clears throat> then I, <clears throat> excuse me. Then I go over the, what I like and dislike. too long just a couple minutes get some good pulls but i am gonna drive in the sport though i want to try to excite myself y'all know what they say now track mode activated I gotta get my exhaust done, man. And actually, I think I lied and said it was stock. I think somebody deleted the resonators because I got up under it. Because one of the tailpipes is, is crooked. Here we go with this shit. Um, I think one of them are crooked and I got up under it and I can see the wheel. The wheel marks from... Uh, I 
Let's see what the wheel marks from the resonator, which is near like the rear wheels. But it's too quiet for me, man. This thing move, man. I'm telling you. This thing move. This thing move. But nah, though. If you just driving normally, man, you might forget it. it's an SRT. But nah, you probably won't forget that. Damn seatbelt. You probably won't forget that, but it's a, it's a smooth ride, man. And when you get on it, like when you wanna make it known, yeah, she won't let up. I find it interesting because I had a scat pack that was an E-speed, and now this is a five-speed five the transmission. This, I think, actually pulls harder than the eight-speed, but the eight-speed, them shifts are quick, 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 quick. And I actually, I'm trying to still find out how to launch this thing because even with these 275s, and I don't even get on the gas all the way, they spin, spin, spin. So I had to, I had to figure that out. Right RPM to launch. But all over the line, it's, it's ready. But in the race, it, you, you know what they say, spinning ain't winning, so. That ain't that ain't really helping. Pretty pretty solid over bumps too, but when you put it on sport, you can feel them a little bit more. People told me from the outside that they got a good sound, how it is, but I don't care how it sound, it ain't loud enough. Damn, it sound like the seatbelt gonna go extra hard today. Damn. Yeah, this shit ready to move, man. These brakes good too. It's just the brake dust. I was talking about the Z26s. Well, that's a lot of traffic out here. So I'm gonna do like another good pull. I got the air on low. I don't think y'all can hear it. I should be loud enough. But it's a lot of cars. So I can't really drive, drive. How I want. But I love this car. And when you put it in sport too, the the suspension tightens up if I didn't say that. And it's more responsive. And I think it holds the gears longer too. So I know when I get this when I uh, do my exhaust, it's gonna sound great. Great. People be stopping me, asking me, say, what, what, uh, what 300 is that? You don't really see too many of them. Stop making them, so. Kinda like a red breed. But I'm about to end the driving part few minutes what I do want to say though is what I like like I said this is my dream car so I'm a little biased but I'm gonna try not to be. I like everything I really do I like everything like the way it feel how I can just cruise and then when I step on it I got 475 horses <clears throat> Comfortable, heated seats, cool seats, ventilated, panel roof, automatic start, heated, cool cup holders. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that's probably the, my best feature on the inside. Every time somebody get in here, I show them that. I love that, and it actually works. It's not like it just get a little cool. It gets cold, and it gets hot. So that's one of my best features on the inside. What I don't like about it is how this car came out. It was $50,000, and they used these cheap old carbon fiber trim pieces that come up because they ain't glue them down properly. I don't like that. The gas, I don't like that, but that's kind of like, I might as well not even say that because that just come with it. You stay at that gas station, 93, baby. Um, 
So I'm not even really including that. I'm just I just said it just to say it. Um so if I had to pick one thing I didn't like truly didn't like, it would probably be the brake dust. It take a lot of stopping power to stop this much speed. And I hate not even the day I drive, I have to get out and wipe the wheels down if they get dirty. So that's one thing I really don't like. Another thing I don't like is with the info. The one, this this is one of the best infotainment centers out. The Uconnect, uh, the dogs, Christ, I got. But I don't like on my last 300 and this one too. When you hook it up with the um, the lightning connector to the iPhone, and it come up as iPod, it changes the songs um, like randomly. Like you don't have no control. It just changes it. So I think that's like a, a glitch or you got to get it updated or something like that. So I say those are two things I don't like. The glitch with the uh, iPod and the brake dust. Or anything else, man. I love it. So if you was looking for a reason not to buy this, this probably ain't the right uh Probably ain't the right uh, video for you, buddy. But if you're looking for a reason to buy, I'm your guy. <sighs> Lady was scared. <laughs> Lady was scared as shit. Who you get for walking in the street? Get your ass on that sidewalk. I wish I could do something over the line, but it ain't gonna do nothing but spin. And I haven't, to be honest, I haven't perfected the launch. So that's it for this video. Comment, subscribe, like, share, all that. All that. Sorry about the seatbelt, man. It seemed like it was doing it more today and shit. But um, until next time, man, appreciate the support. Everything. Um, I got some more reviews coming. I've been working, um, passing out cards. I got some reviews coming. Um, uh, I ain't gonna tell y'all, tell y'all what it is just yet, but I got some reviews coming. More SRTs for sure. Cause I do prefer Hemi, so why not? But, um, appreciate it. Until next time. Peace. Yeah.